I am envious of uh, some big stars in YouTube, stylists, that can show you different outfits every day, you know, 10, 20, whatever have you. And I always wonder where they get the money from. Anyway, they probably make millions of dollars making YouTube videos, not. Then I know my style is not that anyways. My style is about heritage, work clothes. So what that means is that most of the stuff that I have that I need to have is probably coming from used places because that's the only way I can afford it. So here's one of the thrift stores that I go to here in Okinawa, Japan, and I wish I have more time and I wish that more clothes fit me <laughs> on those uh, stores because they have a lot of, uh, you know, heritage, Japanese heritage and work clothing in these shops, but the sizes are off. But enjoy anyways, and uh, I hope you see something you like. Okay, I'm following this sign. It says a gorilla hotel. <laughs> Ooh, there it is, guys. You see it? I've seen that on the expressway a lot, and I just kind of want to come close to it, but it looks like there's only one way in and one way out in this place. <laughs> and it looks like this hotel is closed, I think. The, the gorilla is up there on the top. The gorilla hotel. Hmm. Interesting. Hey guys, check this out. I'm gonna make a video of the store that I go to for some of my used goods here in Okinawa, Japan. I'm mainly in Japan. This is called the... So real quick, this is called the Manga Store. It's pretty good. You know, they have high-end and low-end things here. So I think this is a good time to make a video of it. Such an awesome place to shop, guys. Women's wear, men's wear, everything. You want hats? <laughs> glassware, Japanese glassware. Women's shoes, men's shoes on the other side. Furnitures. Car parts, <laughs> musical instruments, so somebody like me here in Japan, in Okinawa, well even when I was in Milan, Japan, it's called the Gaijin, a foreigner, right? And I'm going to attempt to explain why this place is called the Manga, or Manga Soko. Uh, you know, research a little bit. So manga really is an art form and mostly known for their comic books and uh, written materials. You've known that already probably, you know, anime falls under manga and there's a lot of books and things like that uh, that are written around the manga art form. And you can see manga stores everywhere here in Okinawa and Japan. Um, so what happened, the second-hand store used the term manga soko. Soko is a warehouse or a place where they hold things. Uh, so I'm assuming that, uh, again, from research, when you, when you research manga soko, it takes you directly to the store and it says it sells uh, used goods and at a good price uh, all, over the, all over Japan. So, um, when I was in mainland Japan, there was actually a manga soko, that's a different style. Uh, and it literally was a used store. You walk in and it's a big warehouse where all kinds of clothes and all kinds of stuff really that people recycle or get rid of are being sold. And that's what that is. Now, 
it is probably one of my favorite stores because it's something you can walk in, try stuff, and leave with. Um, there's other stores out there that I'm going to show you on my other videos that I go to, but uh, the Manga Soku is one of them. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to take videos, but I am taking videos. These are all of the Capital, Sugarcane, Studios, Aviso, Flathead. fits me but I'm not sure if I should get it. They're too stylish. Unique, I think. I think I'll get it. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi, if you want to watch more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right there or right here. Also, I have an Instagram page. Check it out, Stylish Grease Monkey. I'll see you there.